بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. Our topic for today's sermon is the continuation of our topic of last week, which is prayer and its impact in the life of a Muslim. O servant of Allah, prayer has a great impact in the life of every Muslim, every individual. The more you keep calling Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah also is ready to answer your prayer. The condition you have is, who do you mean? That is the condition Allah has given us. That means if you call Allah, Allah will answer you. But if you don't call him, Allah may not give attention to you. So the condition you need as a Muslim that Allah has given us is to call Allah. We don't have anything and everything that concerns us that is bothering our mind presently. That is bothering our mind presently. Nothing can solve it itself because we call Allah. Nothing can solve that problem of yours that you think is so hard, except you calling Allah. Nothing can be grant you a breakthrough in this life except Allah's intervention. Call Allah for you, for Him to intervene in this in, in, your, in your life. Call Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ready. He is not his open always. For his for, the, for, for whoever calls him. But now it's up to you as a Muslim, as an individual, to never stop calling Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Never stop calling Allah because He is ready to answer everyone. Call Allah when you are in when, when you are in action. Call Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you are at ease. Because when you are when you call Allah when you are in action, Allah will grant you, will grant you peace. But when you call Allah, when you are at ease, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala might, might not bring to you any action again. But if I thought you bring a, a, a certain action, it might not be as big as you might expect. When you want to call Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, have this sincere intention. Have your mind clear from anything. Don't pray or don't cause anyone while you are praying. Focus on your own life. Leave other people's life alone. Focus on your own success. Leave other people's destruction alone. Some people will pray, will ask, oh Allah, destroy this particular people, destroy this particular person. You don't need that. All you need is focus on your own life, ask Allah's breakthrough, ask for Allah's protection, ask for Allah's guidance that Allah will protect you and guide you in hell, in hell, in all of your, all your hell of if Allah keeps protecting you, who have the capability, who have the capacity to overcome you? Nobody. So what you need to do is focus on your own life. Keep asking Allah. Allah, Allah's God never goes for us. But he is up to, that is up to you to never stop calling Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But subhanahu wa ta'ala, there are some period, there are some time that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does answer prayer most. One of the time is the third part of every midnight. The third part of every every night start from at least let me say three o'clock in the midnight till before fajr. Till before fajr, and keep waking up every night and keep asking Allah what you want. Allah will surely grant it. And you think your problem is so big, your your, your problem is so magnificent, and you not wake up for that to ask Allah. It means you are not that concerned about that your problem. That particular time where majority of people are asleep, most of the mankind are asleep, but Allah's man of Allah is awake, expecting who are going to worry and you are sleeping. Why you have a very big problem? No, you have to stand up and ask Allah that who never sleep. And ask Allah that listen, and ask the God that expect that that is ready to grant your prayer, that is ready to answer your prayer is the God and it's the Lord that you call upon. What's about of Allah? Another period that our prayer and answer is why on sujood. Prophet Muhammad upon him has said that the best position that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is more closer to his servant is why on sujood. 
And Prophet Muhammad said, the fact that you do be plentiful in prayer while you should do. Say a lot of prayer while you should do. Now it's up to you. That is another opportunity for you. That is another grace. That is another favor from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Another period of time is in the tilawat al Quran. When you recite Quran, and you the little Quran. That period of time, Allah has a prayer. Look at how Allah, how this opportunity has come, has emanated from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to his mankind. Allah wants to answer a prayer, but Allah answers prayer any time when you call it. But this particular period of time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen those times that you will be more closer to him and he will answer your prayer immediately with immediate effect. For the of Allah. And mind you, there are some prayers that Allah answers prayers in different ways. Can you note that? As a Muslim, never been in haste for your prayer to be answered. Allah will surely answer your prayer. Is it either He answer it the way you, you requested, or He answer it by, by, by removing a certain hardship or a certain harmful thing coming your way, removing from you? In replacement for a prayer that you are asking, you may be asking for you may be asking wealth from Allah. Allah will grant you the wealth. That is that is the first thing. And the second way Allah answer prayer, you may be asking for wealth and a certain arm might be on, on the way coming to you. Allah will answer that your prayer instead of giving you that wealth. Allah will remove the action and the harmful thing that is coming your way. Allah will remove it for you in replacement of that your prayer to be answered. And another way Allah answer prayer is He will give it for you till the day of Qiyamah. Allah will join it together with your good deeds that have this certain servant as he did. Say the prayer which have not answered in his when he was in, 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 in the dunya, why the prayer has been joined to his deeds. So, Salam of Allah, all our prayer have been answered. But we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant all our heart desires and grant our prayer and make our prayer to be answered. And everyone please never stop praying, never stop asking Allah. Don't stop going to people to, 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 to give you a certain subject, to give you a certain conclusion. Those that can, those cannot suffice you, those cannot protect you against evil. Only Allah can protect you. Only Allah can guide you. Seek for your guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Seek for your protection from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because who if Allah protect you? Who everywhere else can harm you? Nobody. If Allah guide you, who can lead you astray? Nobody. So that is why you need to keep calling Allah and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us, uh, to make uh, to answer all our prayer and grant us our goodness in this way that we also get out of. Allah Rabbana Aqabal Nina Nina Kanta Sami Ali Allah Rabbana Aum Sir Ali Nina Kanta Sami Ali Allah Rabbana Aum Sir Ali Nina Kanta Sami Ali Allah Rabbana Aum Sir وعيتك منك وتكون وانت خير وتكون اللهم ربنا اعتنا في الدنيا حسنا وفي الاخره حسنه وقنا عظم الله